Phew! Well, welcome back. We just left you at the Okhrabi's Falls. Now we're heading south through the deserts to Citrusdal and into the Cedarburg Mountains. Let's see what it looks like. See the haystack on top of the telegraph pole? These are the weaver bird nests. They build them out of straw and string and bits of old paper until eventually they get wet and the whole thing falls over. Once again we'd been told to avoid the gravel road south because it was a tyre wrecker. So we were on the main drag but it took us to some nice interesting villages and look another church. Table Mountain. Stopped for the night in Calvinia after a long, long day going dead straight, 300 kilometres and four corners. And that's a local post box. In the church with its steeple, so we'll go and open the doors and see if it's full of people. Calvinia. And from what, from what we've seen in our travels, when the Dutch and the British were fed up fighting each other and fighting the local occupants of this land, it looks like they built a lot of churches. Seems a bit hypocritical, but there you go. Hopefully not soon to become a luxury guest house. Like this one, where we're going for dinner. As we drove west, southwest from Okhrabi's yesterday down here to Calvinia, there was a rail track. Couldn't work out what it was because there was no ostriches. Turns out this beast was for shipping wool down to Cape Town for export. And of course, guess where it was made? North British Locomotive Company, Glasgow. A hundred years ago, 500 of these wagons would turn up at the weekend for Sunday church. Calvinia Guest House, 1846. One of the oldest houses in town. So we'd been to church fallen off the wagon and played with trains. So Time to head off further south and towards the Cedarburg. This was the centre of sheep country, but not any longer, it's too dry. We're down on the plain now, we've come down off the mountains and we're down on the plain so it's very hot. And we've come, because it's very hot, to the Baghdad Cafe, which is a most unusual place. Welcome to the Baghdad Cafe, and their surname is McGregor. And we're going to have a roaster cook for lunch. We're going to have a breakfast. Are you on your way to? And well, we're here. We're having a roaster cook with two eggs, ham and cheese, and coffee and tea for seventy-five. Rand, which is less than four pounds. And you can have a rooster cook with jam and cheese, and you can have pancakes with spinach and cheese. I want to take this boat back to Scotland. <laughs> well, we're always looking for crew. Just for me. I will take this here like a tail on the sea. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Anybody need a boat to cat? What? Oh look! Hello! Look at the baby lambs! Next stop, Vriedendal. Mm -hmm. Have I seen a black swan before? Uh oh! Oh! I could break your arm. Excuse 
Excuse me. Let's have a Lord. I'm having a shot. And this, over here, is the church that they seem to have built in the compound for weddings. Getting back into the Cedarburg Mountains now, skittering around in the gravel as usual, and big trucks coming our way. We found ourselves a bit out in the sticks with nowhere to stay. Unfortunately, Ended up in Algeria. Nope, not a geographic shift. But we found this place in the Cedarburg Mountains. Yours for 80 quid a night. Two bedrooms, a lounge, fire if we ever needed it, patio, a braai if we'd actually brought anything to braai, and a stunning mountain view and shortly we're going down to the river to dunk our feet but first of all we have to see what's cooking for dinner because we hadn't expected to be eating out so we've got some luxuries first of all we have le soup followed by le noodles potato chips some biscuits crunchy bars and then for breakfast. Well, breakfast was at the pad style on the way out and the long and winding road back to Cape Town. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, we're heading north.